video clip from masstutor.biz and massdvds.co.uk GCSE Higher Practice Paper 1B Now the start of the questions usually people find either easy or very easy but they do get hard as you go through so we're going to have a look at question number 17 If you want to see all of the material go to masstutor.biz or massdvds.co.uk and you can see all the available DVDs and this specific paper in its entirety but at least you'll get the chance to buy it anyway GCSE Higher Practice Paper 1B Question number 17 Solve 4x, find out what x is Now here we've got a situation of a fraction equals a fraction and we can do something called cross multiplication. Now I must admit there are some mathematicians out there that don't like that and they frown upon it. Cross multiplication means you do that expression multiplied by that expression and say it equals that expression multiplied by that expression. That's called cross multiplication. But you must have a fraction equals a fraction. Now what in fact you are doing, I'll just say it this once, is you're multiplying both sides by this and you're multiplying both sides by this and then you'll be left with that multiplied by that equals that multiplied by that when you do the cancelling so there you go cross multiplication I'm quite happy with it the examiner won't mind it at all it's the easiest way of doing it but you can only do it if you have a fraction equals a fraction Right, let's uh, expand these. 2x times x, and then 2x times the minus 1, minus 3 times the x, and minus 3 times the minus 1. Expand these brackets 4 times the x, and 4 multiplied by the 2. Now we've got what is called a quadratic equation, and very often not always, but virtually always, when you have a quadratic equation, you have to rewrite it as a zero equation. In other words, manipulate it so it says equal zero. So to do that, this is minus 5x. Subtracting 4x from both sides will then give me minus 9x. Subtracting 8 from both sides will give me minus 5. So here we've got a quadratic equation as a zero equation. Next, we try and factorise it it may or may not. Now if the question had said and write your answer to two decimal places or if the question had said write your answer to three significant figures the examiner would have been giving you a great hint that it won't factorise and that in fact you'd have to use something like the formula for solving quadratic equations or something else. But the examiner hasn't said that so it may well factorise. Still doesn't have to Okay, that's a prime number, so there's not a lot of cho choices of what can go in there and what can go in there. That's a prime number, so there's not a lot of choices can go in there, 1 times 5, but which way round? I think you'll find if you put the 1 there and 5 there, looking ahead, that's 10x, and that's 1x. So I can get minus 9x, as long as I've got a minus there, and a plus there. Now, are you going to just write down the answer like this? Or are you going to consider that that equals naught, or that equals naught? It's up to you. Very happy to write down the answer straight away from there. But this one, some people subtract one from both sides, divide both sides by two, actually get it wrong when they go straight from there to there. So it's entirely up to you. Okay, how many marks? Well, that's actually five for that. So we'll have three method marks up here, one for getting that line, one for tidying it up, and one for factorising it, and then one for each of the answers to the value of x.